Um, my name is Sardar and in this video, we will go through how to invoke uh, the Google Apps Connect REST API. So let's take an example of the processes list. This is the API that we're trying to invoke. Okay. Let's just get started. Let's just, go ahead. let's just name this processes. While we wait for this app script to save, what we can do is we can start declaring a few variables. Let's say, so some of the things that it requires is an API key and the OAuth. Uh, and OAuth would be the token. So let's just say what token equals. So one of the functions with App Script is you can retrieve an OAuth token just by using script app dot get OAuth token. So you see right here. We also need an API key. Let me show you how to get. So I'm going to go to console.cloud.google.com. Uh, if you're using this for the first time, you may have to create a new project. I have already done that because I, uh, I'm using this for a whole bunch of other uh, purposes. Uh, you can go about creating this by clicking on new project. And I'm just going to go to APIs and services, uh, go to credentials so that we can do this as well. I'm just going to go with you know an API key because that's what is needed. I'm just going to copy this. That key, go to my key, paste it here, and the endpoint, right? So let's also declare a variable for endpoint and copy this URL right here. I'm just gonna write what headers equals I'm just gonna put this in a JSON format. So in this case it's an application slash JSON. So that will be authorized in another application. Compare uh, it's not the basic, and I'm going to use the token. So, yes. so that's the part of headers. Let's just look at the in here. And that's the headers. And uh, now we can go about declaring whether or not uh, it's a post request or a get request, or a whole bunch of other options. So I'm going to do method in this case. In this case, we are going to do a get request. And the headers. And this is also this option to mute HTTP exceptions. We use this so that in case the API request fails, or the script would still execute and we should still be able to view what the errors are. Uh, we can log the response in a later bit. Now let's form the URL. And if you see the examples, uh, examples that are that are here, the, uh, the get request is essentially on the base URL, and there's a hook and a parameter for key equals and your API key. So this is the final URL to which we'll be running the URL fetch app. Let's quickly build that as well. So this would be the endpoint plus question mark at the hook equals let's have to send here the key and that should do it and finally now we can you know we can declare a response because the fetch app dot fetch dot is a URL options these are the things now I'm just gonna simply log this information let's let's run this function to see what happens it's asking us to review permissions Okay, so it's it's going it's, it's asking us to connect to an external service, which is true. This is the permission that we have done. And I'm going to click allow, and let's see what happens. Running. Uh oh, it's not supposed to be. Okay. Same. Running it again, and I'm opening my logger. It's a command. Then authenticate. Oops. Okay. So the problem that has occurred here is we did not define the OAuth scopes that it expects. So now in this case, you might wonder uh, in, in a general scenario, if you're running, let's say, a Gmail app or perhaps you know, you're, you're calling a spreadsheet, the scopes are added automatically. But then this is an innate function within app scripts. What happens is app scripts does not realize that we are supposed to add these scopes automatically. And you can you can sort of view this under your project properties 
and scopes. So as you can see, there's only one scope, uh, which is to the external request, which is against the URL fetch app, and not the scope that we would require to run this particular API. I'm just gonna copy, okay, first I'm gonna copy this. Uh, I'll show you why I'm doing that. I'm just gonna temporarily write it here as a comment. I'm gonna have another comment and copy this scope as well. So what we'll do is we'll have to manually add the scope and the way to do that is we do that in our manifest file. If I go to my manifest file, essentially here is where I can add my this here. Well, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to follow the convention. Uh, so it's all there. We make this it's essentially. Let's just save this. Let's just delete these. These are not needed. And now let's see what happens when we run our function. It lasts for another round of optimization. And I'm going to click on now. And what you'll see is. It's running and let's see what happens. This is a common error that you can see what it's saying. You know, it says that the APN key and the authentication credential are from different projects. And what does this mean? Because the project that we chose the API key from is that of Google App Scripts, which is being created manually. And the function that is running or the script inherently is on a different project. Now, you may wonder as to what that different project is. Here's the explanation. So let's fix that. For this, what we're going to do is let's just create another project and let's just name this processes. Uh, for simplicity, I'm just going to erase all of these anyway. Uh, let's see that in the upcoming steps. So, all right, so our new project is created and Let's go. We have to now do a couple of things here. First of it being, I'm going to enable App Script API. I'm just going to enable the App Script API. That's another very important step in the entire process. So we go ahead and enable it. All right, so it's out there. So I'm going to go back and follow the same process. I'm going to go to API and service, essentially go to credentials, get an API key. Okay, so new key, let's go there and I'm just gonna replace this, right? And save it. Oops. Well, it gives me the same error because, quite frankly, I haven't done anything different from before. But this time, what we need to do is let's go to resources and you know, you can have this option of cloud platform project. And I'm gonna, you know, it, it, it asks us for a project number, which you can find the home page, or rather the landing page, and I'm gonna go here. You can go back, take that, and put set project, and it's process. All right, so you cannot switch to a project uh, without a configured OAuth consent screen. So, so that's another step in the process, which is for us to create a OAuth consent screen. Let's see what that means. So I'm just going to go to APIs and services. Okay, there's an OAuth consent screen. This is the one that we need to create. And for now, for, for our purposes, I'm just going to name the application as processes. File. You know, and just and obviously I'm just going to keep everything as blank because it's quite obviously not mandatory. I'm going to hit save. Let's hit screen. All right. I'm going to go back to my script. Uh, hit set project again. Let's see. We have now successfully moved this script to a different project. I'm going to close this and run the function again. To ask you for another uh, consent. Okay, I'm gonna just allow so you can see what it is here and a function. Let's hit the log and voila. We have the app script REST API functioning from our app script browser editor. That's that's all it is, but these are the steps that are involved in 
actually making that happen. I hope uh, this video helped you guys in terms of navigating your way through things. But uh, as always, feel free to share any remarks or comments or uh, steps that this could have been. Thanks for watching.